Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Anya and Adwi Show. So in today's video, I will be explaining the physical map of India to you all. The physical map of India is divided into six broad divisions that are the coastal plains, the great northern plains, the plateau region, the northern mountains and the great Indian desert. I have used a different color for each of the divisions so that you all can understand it easily. I would like to tell you all one more thing. After you all finish drawing the map, you should always write the key so that the third person can understand what each color represents. Let's start with one by one, starting with the northern mountains. The Karakoram range lies towards the northern boundary of India. Towards the south of the Karakoram range, we have the Ladakh range and the Zaska range. The Himalayas extend along the northern boundary of India in the form of an arc. These are called as the parallel ranges. The parallel ranges are the greater Himalayas that is the Himadri, the lesser Himalayas that is the Himachal and the outer Himalayas that is the Shivalink. The Purvanchal range forms the eastern boundary of India. Now let's go to the Great Northern Plains. The Great Northern Plains extend from the state of Punjab in the west to the state of Assam in the east for a distance of 2,400 kilometers. This is also called as the Indo-Gangetic Plain. The rivers that originate from the Himalayas carry large quantities of sediments. These get deposited in the northern plains, making this region very, very fertile. Due to the favorable climate and the good amount of water supply, this region has been the birthplace of the most famous civilization of the world, the Indus Valley Civilization. Now let's go to the plateau region, which I've colored in the brown color. A plateau is a raised area of land with a flat top and sloping side. There are three main plateaus in India. The Deccan Plateau, the Malwa Plateau and the Chota Nagpur Plateau. The Deccan Plateau has a triangular shape and is surrounded by the Western Ghats on the west and the Eastern Ghats on the east. The Chota Nagpur Plateau covers most parts of Jharkhand, Odisha and West Bengal. The Malwa Plateau covers the most parts of the west of Madhya Pradesh. Now let's go to the Great Indian Desert. The Thar Desert lies on the northwestern part of India. It covers most parts of Rajasthan. It is also called as the Great Indian Desert. Towards the west of the desert, we have the river Satlej. Towards the east of the desert, we have the Aravalli Range. And towards the south of the desert, we have the marshy Ran of Kutch. Now let's go to the coastal plains. There are two coastal plains in India, the Western Coastal Plains and the Eastern Coastal Plains. The Western Coastal Plains is a narrow one, whereas the Eastern Coastal Plains is broader than the Western Coastal Plains. The Western Coastal Plains stretch from Ran of Kutch in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. The Eastern Coastal Plains stretch from the mouth of River Ganga in the north to Kanyakumari in the south. The western coastal plains lie between Arabian Sea and the western Ghats. The east coastal plains lie between the Bay of Bengal and the eastern Ghats. There are many rivers that flow in these plains like Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri etc. Now let's go to the island groups. The island groups consist of Lakshadweep Islands in the west and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the east. The Lakshadweep Islands is the smallest union territory in India. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands consist of more than 500 islands. Now I hope you are thorough with the six 
physical divisions of India, which are the coastal plains, the great northern plains, the plateau region, the northern mountains, the great Indian desert and the island groups. So stay tuned to my channel for more informative videos. I hope you like my video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'm also waiting to hear some comments from you guys. So until next video, stay happy, healthy, bye bye. Toodles.